Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We are here with Atticus on the Normandy. Let's go and check in with the rest of the crew and see what else anybody has. Ron, Legion, and Tally are good to go. Let's go see what everyone else has before we get out and about into the galaxy and see what kind of trouble we can start. We need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken half the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. Lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. She's not wrong. She has a point. Holy. What's up, trainer? Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Chirian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. N7 reactors? Well, we'll get to that at some point. Codex updated for Sion? I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Really? Commander. Looks like we got messages, friends. Oh, goody, goody. Found something. Miranda Lawson. Shepard, I've discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad. But there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here, Miranda. Dinner. Cade Nalenko. Hey, Shepard, I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time you're on a Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's that little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium Caden. The Cure! Malin Heplorn, Commander Shepard. I just heard the news you cured the genophage that some of our females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tujanka and wondered if I did the right thing. The news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clan Warlock, and they put a bounty out for my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malin Heplern. Take a break. Garrus Vicarian. I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we can take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested, Garrus. Getting away from work. Liara Tassoni. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel, Liara. Visiting the Citadel, Javik. <laughs> Javik, you going to the Citadel, you're going to be causing trouble. Not meaning to cause trouble, but okay, maybe he's... I can see primitives a lot coming out of his mouth. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would join me, I would be in this area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. It's not a lie. Javik, you're about to see firsthand. We got a lot of stuff on this citadel. That's exactly where we're going. We are going to the citadel to enjoy the festivities with our friends. While Legion, Tally, and the rest of the Quarians are looking for that Reaper base. They might be looking for a while. And those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? It's a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? You don't really know. You imagine people naked when you get nervous? Does it make you feel better? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? No. I'm being professional. Uh, no. We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. We're going to get out of system, Joker. We're going to take a little break. Commander. Edie. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <laughs> this is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. 
Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. <laughs> Edie and Legion. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> until her day of reckoning. Legion said it's top heavy. It is kind of top heavy, but to be honest, it's kind of top and bottom heavy, I would say. <laughs> Whoa, Legion! Let's Don't go down and talk to something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> Me and Garrus on the Citadel, you know we're getting into trouble, trainer. Anything else? Commander. Let's go. Prudek, let's see who's down here. See what's going on. Caden wants to do dinner. Leara wants to do some. Everyone wants to do something on the Citadel. I'm happy about that. If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie out. Just keep looking, Caden, because you may find something. You never know. They might be... The term underground. They might be underground, you know? Possibly. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. But wait. Don't tell her I said that. In case it's some kind of Corian insult. <laughs> it's... Well, it's kind of interesting, because you think about it, they kind of... Maybe. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. They were kind of tough in this game, Caden. Got a few things on my plate. What are you having? What are we having for dinner? Got a few things on my plate. He's at a nice place overlooking the Presidium. Let's check in with Chakwas. See what she's got going on. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Okay, Speak I, to okay. Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. I definitely will, I promise. What other... specialization can we use? Just saying, I'm not doing anything yet. Because I'm going to wait. I'm thinking that we might go out of Reeve. I like Re, but I just feel like it's kind of, it's kind of redundant on an adept. We have so much to juggle as it is. Warp ammo sounds pretty amazing. I just think the, the adeptus has so much going on. Maybe even energy drain. Whenever we get, whenever shit hits the fan, and we just pause real quick and just tap energy drain for a shield boost. Or if we want to deal with enemy shields quickly. I think Reeve on an adept. Personally, I think Reeve on a character that is not a biotic would probably be a lot better. Or even on like a Vanguard or something. Because looking at the abilities in the beginning, it didn't look like the Vanguard had warp. So Reeve would play really well on them. It just feels a, a bit unnecessary on the adept. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have one. Curious. To do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> Whoa! I figured we had to do Liara since love interest and stuff. We 
we had to, but I'm curious. I want to know what they move to. Do they actually move? They probably do. Ready for the next mission? Ready for the next mission? Smuggler Manifest. Youngest system. Operative Morat has sent smuggler manifests of the Anthabasca class freighter to authorities in the Youngest system. The manifest follows 8,000 tons of dextroamino food supply, 16,000 tons of levoamino acid food supplies, 200,000 tons of platinum stamped ingots. 12 Alliance fighter craft inactive mothballed on lower deck. 12 Hierarchy interceptor craft inactive mothballed on lower deck. 300 indentured workers, slaves from Karshan, recaptured attempting to escape reapers, mainly Batarian. So, we got Batarian slaves here? Authorities will seize the freighter in two hours, per the broker's request. The Youngers government has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favors rendered. Well, she's breaking them from the shackles. For working for her. Ready for the next mission? Hey, Liara, how you doing? Ready for the next mission? Me too. At Let's your go. service. Take it easy, Glyph. Have a good day. Let's go talk to Garrus, see what's got going on here, and then head on to the bottom. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. <laughs> You dropped the C word, Garrus. What the hell? Garrus and Tally. Wait, we got something going on here? Maybe? Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. So no matter what, the Krogan just came and they basically slowed down the Reapers. It's irrelevant. Our fighting tactics are just irrelevant. The only thing that we can do right now is hope the Crucible blows them all to hell. That's it. That's all we can do. Anything else is just slowing them down. Eventually, they'll bleed us all dry. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You're a good leader, Garrus. Why not? I wouldn't think of anybody else as Shepard's second in command besides you. You could argue that Caden could definitely be second in command. Oh, of course. But Garrus? I think Garrus is definitely... He's one of the best leaders on the Normandy besides Shepard. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are yeah, but you? that seems like... Can you? I don't know. But it seems like the easy way out, Garrus. If you think about it, that type of thinking seems like the easiest way out. 
If it avoids extinction, that's not acceptable. Well, anything if it avoids extinction, sure. But sometimes I would love to only do them type of choices if there is no other option. I would love to always look for an alternative if possible. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Who knows, Garrus? I don't even know. I don't think so. It's like I want to try to live by it, but do we really think we can? Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. Garrus, if there's a way for you and Tally, that would be awesome. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Now, but I don't think... The regular Geth don't revere the Reapers as gods. Only the heretics did. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Take it easy. <laughs> it's going, Garrus. We gotta go into Citadel and call us trouble, probably. <laughs> I love that our companions just give us messages. Shepard's so busy that they just send us messages. Okay, Shepard, it's time to go to the Citadel. Come on. And then... Well, here we are. On the Citadel. And Javik wants to go to the Citadel. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see Javik on the Citadel. It's going to be so cool. Right he's, he's now, a nightmare on Earth. Human leaders using military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can. The battle space. They're definitely indoctrinated, Allers. Has Alenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. <laughs> I think Caden. It's probably been a while. I... <laughs> it may have been a while for him. Possibly. Engineers! Shepard. Nothing to report. You guys better say something, okay? Commander. Tell me how you're doing, how your days are going. What's on your mind? We haven't heard some banter between them in a minute. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. Whoa. <laughs> You're kind of lucky though, Javik, because you can see what Corians look like. We can kind of see Tally, but I just want to see. I want to see it all. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. Machines in your cycle? Well, the ship is also a machine, too. So is that contraption over there, and the other one over there, and the one over there. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Well, maybe he is quite a bit different, I'd say, Legion. He's not just a machine. He... I love how the dialogue says, he. Because Javik is using the word, the one you brought. 
and Shepard is saying he, as in the Legion is alive, and not just an it, a that. Maybe, but he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. They'll fight the Reapers. There must be another way. Javik, there has to be another way. We can't always condemn machines and just say they're not alive at this point. It's changing. Evolution is changing. Things are changing. Okay, it was still in your cycle. He still had AIs in his cycle, as he explained. But there has to be another way. If you want to coexist with machines at this point, you have to find another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. We got some reputation with Javik. We better get the throw in the machine out the airlock. <laughs> what the hell? I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. <laughs> You're gonna kill every single Avena on the Citadel, are you? The machine you call Ide. <laughs> what if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. She won't sympathize with the Geth. Javik! But even so, she'll sympathize with Legion, I'm sure. Because, well, Legion's different! Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. <laughs> I still have much to learn about this cycle. <laughs> Fucking Protheans, man. Any machines on their ship was just broken. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Javik. He's done I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? The M29 Grizzly? Whoa, who are we supporting here? The Mako or the Hammerhead? The Hammerhead! Let's talk about it for a second. The Hammerhead! It was pretty interesting. Because it was so fast. It hovered like a beast. It was just so fast. And the cannons on it, the little homing missiles, they were pretty cool. They did some damage. Took a while though. But the Mako! It just climbed in Mass Effect 1 for days! It rode over every single mountain. The hammerhead could do the same thing, probably. If it kept hovering, it could get up it. That's a tough choice. If I had to pick one personally, 
and let the other one crumble into dust, I would definitely 100%, always probably, go with the Mako. I think the Mako is superior to the Hammerhead. It's only because... It's only because I like things like James. I like beefier type vehicles. <laughs> or just any games I play, well, contrary to what you might believe about Shepard here being an adept, because an adept is probably akin to maybe like a magic user in other games. So you would figure I'd play like something like a soldier, warrior, or something like that, because in other games I like to play the tanky type. It's just easier, you just sit in mechanics and just fucking smile. But the hammerhead, it just died so much, I was so frustrated on their missions <laughs> when we did them DLCs. Playing on insanity, it, it would just, if they sneezed on me, I would be dead. One single geth would just destroy me if I wasn't jumping around breaking the game. But the hammerhead, we would just run them the fuck over. Sit there and dance on their corpse with a hammerhead. Be totally fine. What's up, James? What are you doing over here? Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? I hope so. Absolutely, James. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. Oh, James, where'd you go? <laughs> not everyone's as crazy as you, sir. The thing is, though, James, right? You know what's gonna be the fucked up thing about all this? If we somehow secure the Quarian's homeworld, and then the Reapers win anyway, so you're literally fighting to Gath for your homeworld, and then you get it, eventually. And then a couple months later, boop, down, dead. The whole fucking planet's destroyed. <laughs> fucking ironic. But... I don't even know. <laughs> we gotta win. <laughs> we have to win because that's just... That's too much. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. I would love more time with it too, Steve. They just chill. <laughs> Instead of taking the shuttle, take the Geth ship. Is everything okay, Shepard? That would be so cool. Everything is in order. Take it easy, Steve. It's always a pleasure, sir. I'm sorry that I like the Mako a bit better than a Hammerhead, alright? The Hammerhead is awesome. I think if the Hammerhead just had... Seriously, if the Hammerhead just had a bit more protection, if it could stand a bit more, then the Hammerhead would destroy the Mako. But only because the Hammerhead just... It just died so quickly. So much deaths. And I don't think we've ever got blown up in the Mako. That fucking DLC, the Firewalker DLC... I was just getting destroyed. Absolutely obliterated. James? I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Why though? They're fighting for their own world. I'm thinking we'd be doing the same thing. Hey. Hey. Yeah, honestly, we'd be doing the same thing, James. Though, I don't know. Now that the Reapers are here, I don't know what humanity would be doing. Fighting the Reapers, probably. Over trying to get their homeworld back. But then again, the humanity could colonize a lot of other worlds compared to the Quarians. I don't believe the Quarians can colonize anything. We got a new visor in there. <laughs> Look at this fucking helmet. <laughs> Absolutely not. Arkin, there it is, the Arkin visor. Weapon damage, what does it do? Oh, it does a shit ton of power recharge. And to be fair, it's really cool looking. I think I'm gonna use this. These shoulders. I don't think I'm gonna use them. I don't like this thing here. 
This little knob, it looks kind of funny. I love the shoulders in general, but that knob, it just looks a bit funny. Let's go back to this one for now. Until we can get the Hain Kadar stuff, we'll go back to this one. Sound good? We'll get that power recharge now with this one. The other one gave us a little bit of power damage and a little bit of power recharge. I want the whole power recharge. The Arkin visor. Can we get an Arkin set? Armor set? Because that just sounds badass. Let's see what we got in the stores. Well, we're going to hit up the Citadel anyway. We're going to hit the Citadel up. Alright, everything's good here. Let's go to the Citadel. Let's see what's going on. It was nice to just kick back and talk to people. I love you the know fact I that- mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. I most certainly will. Commander? I kind of want to go to another area. Let's go to Captain's Cabin. See if anything's up here. And I want to see if Trainer said something again about either Miranda or Caden. Because she said something about Garrus. Now she said something about Liara. I'm just curious. See if it does. No. Commander. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. Let's get on out. Sorry, Quarians. What? Oh yeah, we already read all of that. Save the Admiral and shut down Geth's server. That's all we got on there. We can't even do the main mission at the moment, so I'm guessing, if you think about it, I guarantee they'll probably find the base when we do one of these missions. Either shut down the guest server or save the Admiral. Or, the next time we leave the Normandy and come back, they'll probably find the base. So, all things considered, we won't come back to the Normandy after we leave right now let's check again we're gonna do the Omega DLC at this point because nothing Argus Row did we not do the Argus Row cruster this is new we read the Argus Row but I don't think we've ever scanned it but we definitely read it if I had any guess, it would be over here because this is Canrum and Metagos. This is the one with Shiagr on it, and this is the one that we landed on in the first game. So it's got to be here. You know what it is. I found something. Canrum. It's got to be some kind of Krogan assets here. What is it? What do we got? Haptic Optics Array. That works. We're at 50% now. Well, I got a feeling it's over here somewhere. Yeah, it just seemed like it would be. The Hydra System. The Phoenix. Let's go to Phoenix for. We are about out of fuel. We're gonna need fuel. We're not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Damn it. Let's see if we can get fuel with this one. Come on, be like 800, 270. I don't even think we got enough. Well, we gotta try. We're gonna be on nothing. We ain't never gonna make it to the other one from here. Unless it's 900 units of fuel up here. Pinnacle Station? Oh, this is the Pinnacle Station, the DLC. I don't think this was in the first game. We couldn't do that DLC. Let's read this one. The asteroid-based Pinnacle Station was originally constructed by the Turians to function as a concealed command center during the Krogan Rebellions. It has been retrofitted as a military training facility for all high-level special operations teams employed by the Council. The station's combat simulator allows teams to train under a variety of hazardous conditions. Let's scan, because you know there's something there. Confirmed. Yes. 
please be like, uh, 450 is not bad. Not bad. Pinnacle Station. What could possibly be here? Interesting. Makes me wonder. Turian Spec Ops team? Oh. Makes me wonder if we... Since we didn't get that DLC, they still put this in here. Maybe there was nothing there. All things considered. Gotta be something down here. No? Take it easy, Reapers. Hold on, hold on. Fossilized Cacliosaur? Oh. That's a mission. That's definitely... Oh, shit. Somebody did Reapers give us that one. We got 570 units of fuel. <laughs> what happens when we run out of fuel? We're about to find out, possibly. That there's no fuel in this system. Let's just scan about. All these planets are good. I found something. Wait. Take it easy, Reapers. Give me a second here. Advanced power relays. Oh, hell, there's no fuel here at all. Shit, we're fucking screwed. <laughs> what happens? It just pulled us right back to the relay area. It just pulled us right into the relay area. <laughs> I was thinking we were going to lose credits or something. Is there any more to explore? Because, well, we can't really explore it right now. Damn it. This one. It don't matter because we'll do this area when we do the fuel reactors. Because this looks like another Asari area. And I want to get what's on the Citadel at the moment. Instead of reading planets. So we will end up doing that one. Whenever we do the fuel reactors, that makes more sense. To be fair, this might be this might be one that's red. You can't go anywhere. Okay, so I know it is. Let's go. I'm thinking we talk to Liara first before anybody, because I want to see if we can pursue the relationship. We got a lot of stuff. We got a personal apartment, Doc 42, Dr. Bryson's lab, and Alliance Doc. So, this one is the Citadel DLC. This one's the Dr. Bryson DLC. And this one is Omega DLC. Easy peasy. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Well, just move them about, Edie. Let's see if there's anything here. We got a soldier and Garrus. Soldier. Gotta be this gentleman. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garva. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with... Uh, any operation we have going. Yeah. It definitely will. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Let's see where people are. Miranda said she'll nav point us whenever we get close. Garrus is at the security checkpoint here. I don't want to do Garrus's yet. We can do Garrus's, actually. Is this right here at a security four? Miranda's in the Spectre office? Nice. We're going to go there last anyway. Javik's over here. Commander Bailey. No one's at Herda. Ori, Talok, Edie, and Joker. Do we have to go back to Herda? We may have to go back to Herda for dialogue. Maybe? Edie and Joker's in the bar, again. They love the bars. Worf, Strategic, Scientist, Caden, Tally, 
And Lear Tally's here. Oh, we need Legion here now. There was dialogue here, was it? I'd not? like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. This motherfucker always pushes us. You mind? Maybe she just doesn't want to fight Reapers. There's gotta be a re- or... Maybe she just doesn't want to fight Cerberus. There has to be a reason why, ma'am. You should dig into it more. We got Garrus here. Should we go to Garrus first? Look, he's just chilling here. There's no way we can walk past him. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Let's do it, Garrus. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. Everything involves them like alcohol. We're going to get drunk, Garrus. Come on. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Who's gonna tell us not to? <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. Well, hell. A I'm little busier off. than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. <laughs> You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? And it shows on your face. Oh, I want to say it because he's, it's going to zing him probably. Your good friend, Garrus. I want to tell him he's a good friend, though, because we're having a heart-to-heart -heart here. Novaria, Pharos, Ios, Garrus, you've been with us through everything. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos, Horizon, Collector Ship, Collector Base. Just everything that we did, you have been here, my friend. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, <laughs> I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. You're on, Vicarian. <laughs> I said a tough one. <laughs> Step aside. Miss on purpose and shoot the target? Oh, we're gonna miss on purpose? We're going to shoot the target. 
I kind of want to miss on purpose. Because, let's be honest, if Atticus had a shoot-off with Garrus, none other than the, uh, Infiltrator, Shepard could probably beat him. There's no way we would beat him. We handled the Sniper in the first and second game, but we're nowhere near as good as Garrus. Let's miss. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. <laughs> it's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I'm Garrus McCarrion, and this is my favorite spot on the Citadel. Oh, making me tear up in joy. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. My face actually hurts. You guys got anything else? No? That was so amazing. Look, there's just no way, okay? There's just no way Shepard, an adept Shepard, could beat Garrus at that. Unless you want this to see the other one, sure. I just don't see it. Atticus couldn't beat Garrus this night, but no way. Could anyone beat Garrus at sniping? I don't even think Thane could. Zai definitely couldn't. Spectre yeah. status recognized. Please I just don't see it. Let's head to the commons. One moment, please. I would like to talk to Liara now. Before we do anything else, because now I'm hoping that... Presidium commons. I'm hoping we can initiate some kind of romance with Liara here. We kind of softly initiated it, but I don't think we fully did. She's over at six all the way over here. That's fine. We'll run about. We'll pass the other companions for now. Rapid transit. Scientist. Excuse me, ma'am. I got something for you. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you, you so, so much for your help. So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Awesome. Really? Excellent. Well, how much money do we have? We probably have a lot. Karshan snapping you? Fogging is expensive. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. I don't think we should buy it right now. We're not going to buy anything Canola at the moment. Is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. I will we make a run your visit. back and buy this stuff. You got something too? Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. Damn right, sir. The reason why I don't want to buy anything is because I want to go to the Spectre office and I would like to... Test out some weapons. Finally. It will probably be our last round of testing the weapons, so we can just go off and just spend the hell out of all our money. Model Geth. Model Live Ship. We're just not going to buy anything right now. But now Any that we know... Goods can only be returned for store credit. Please visit what kind of stuff any of we our have to get? Let's head over to Liara. I don't think there was any banter on this level at all this time around. All the banter that we were going to get was here. There was somebody else more strategic in the apartments up here. This gentleman. Actually, I found a Cacleosaurus skull preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it, or... You're kidding? You're kidding. Seriously? Well, um, if, if the genetic material is intact, we could... Hmm. We've got cloning facilities on Sirkesh. Cacleosaur genes were remarkably pliable. Cloning might be effective. Maybe. Really? And they're already riding the first units into battle? Well, that's... That's great! No, no, don't worry about that. It's how Cacleosaurs mark territory, and the Krogan don't seem to mind. <laughs> well... Krogan are riding Cacleosaurs into battlefronts. How crazy cool is that? This gentleman was good. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. Let's head this way. Caden is probably. Where's Caden? Caden's in Apollo's right here. We'll skip out on Caden. 
for the moment. And then we will talk to Liora first. Because I'm just hoping that we can initiate some kind of romance. Casa Fabrication Weaponry Nothing has forgotten Earth. There that Neither we get. You. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Hell. Good hunting. That one don't have much either. Liara! What's been going on? Hold on, let me shout first though. Welcome to Agor Munitions. High velocity barrel SMG. Ooh. Thank Armor piercing SMG. That would be Welcome so powerful. We're going to buy this sniper. We're going to give this shit to Garrus because it said explosive sniper. Yeah, Fashion right there. Armor piercing and explosive sniper rifle. Yeah. Let's go and do some serious damage. Hey, Liara. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Kids do dumb things. Kids are cute. You're really cute right now, Liara. Did you hear a little giggle? <laughs> Kids are cute. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. Yes, tell us more about Benezia, please. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. I'd like that. I want more than just friends? Ooh. Well, I would think that this is probably something that we should say. Because Atticus, at this point... I think it's time. I really do. I think it's time that we get together with Liara fully. And fully commit. I don't think we're fully committed yet. I like that as just friends. No, well, I would like it as just friends, but I think we should be more at this point. She loves us. We love her. It's only fitting. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Wow, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way, too. I know. Steamy. We got some reputation. Okay, so we're probably fully committed to Liara now. This is good. I just... I was thinking... I'm going to be honest with you. I was thinking that we would probably be committed to her. Well, this is kind of what I was hoping. I was hoping that we'd be fully committed to her since we romanced her in the first game. And then we had the little thing in the Shadow Broker DLC with her. We kind of rekindled our romance in that game. I was thinking that as soon as we came into this game, we would pretty much rekindle it. Which we kind of did. But I was thinking we were going to be locked in immediately. And it hasn't been the case. But that's pretty welcoming, especially for other Shepherds out there. Maybe you guys wanted to romance in the first one. And you kind of romance somebody, romance somebody else in the second one. Or maybe you stuck true to her, but then the third one you're like, well, okay, I kind of want to romance Steve, or I kind of want to romance this trainer, or Hayden, just somebody else. Tally, Garrus. And then you chose to go away from her, but I'm happy they gave us that leaveway as well. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. Hello again. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Liara. I'm happy for you and Atticus. I really am. They deserve each other. It's time. Pally's in the courtyard. Number four. She's up over by the apartments. The clutch is stabilized. Wait, there she is. Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatched after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. It looked like she was over here. Because four is here. This is... Wait, not four. 
This is four. There has really? to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics and Metagel, thousands of us will die. Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Geth. There has to be some way for us to get more medical... Tally saved the Citadel a couple of years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough Metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. Hey, Tally. Oh, we can't talk to Tally. It was just something small. But hey, it's still so cool that Tally's here. Friends, I am happy we did. We went and did at least parts of her mission. The first two parts. Because just having Tally here, all this stuff would probably be... If we would have went off and did all the other side missions first, the DLC and such, it would be pushed and we probably wouldn't have extra things. Like, remember how we left missin missions for Legion at the end of Mass Effect 2? I feel really good that we are leaving missions now that we have Tally and Legion on board. Kaden! Where you at, sir? Where the hell's Mater Cathedra? Is she dead? Did she die? Or did she roll out now? Maybe she went back to the Asari homeworld. Kaden, there you are! Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. What's going on with you? I'm glad we're getting to talk. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. We need to talk? Glad we're- yeah, I'm glad we actually sit back, kick back, maybe drink some beers, eat some food. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. Really? No, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. The feeling's mutual. Thank you. The feeling is mutual, Caden. I appreciate everything you've done, and that you're here now. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mmm. Sanity check. Sanity check. This motherfucker said if you're trying to butter me up, a steak sandwich. <laughs> he didn't say something small. He wants a 40 ounce steak sandwich. <laughs> Whoa, I don't blame you, Caden. But it is uh, delicious, the steaks on the Citadel. At this point, you gotta figure that it probably is delicious compared to the Normandy food. I mean, who knows? The Normandy food could be pretty wonderful as well. Where else we gotta go? We got Docking Bay, Tactus, Kelly Chambers, and James. 
Liara, Edie Joker, Arya Talok. I guess we'll go to Edie Joker and Arya Talok because there is a because there is dialogue over there. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Because there's something here. Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate while I'm still here. Where'd you park? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. I, uh, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? But you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. I know. She sold the car. She had no use for it right now. Probably in the times. Maybe she needs money for other reasons, sir. It's possible. But she did love that car. Supposedly. Edie and Joker is at the bar. You know, they haven't really moved from the last time we talked to them, so they might just be chilling the there for now. I'm not skinning the Alliance. Well, since when are you so chummy with those pricks? Screw you. You've been watching the news? Sure. You know what's happening to Earth while we're sitting here? Calm down already. She has a point, sir. She really does. She's not willing to scam the Alliance in times like these. And I don't blame her because I wouldn't either. I'd be smuggling to help the Alliance. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. <laughs> well, we got all their dialogue there good. It's exactly the same as what we left it. All right. Pardon me, ma'am. Let's head to the next place, which would probably be... Well, we can head to the docks. We can head to the docks and then get that on. Then the embassies. Then... Yeah, that's it. Spectre status recognized. Let's Please head to the hospital, the actually. One moment, please. I can't remember if there was dialogue at the hospital. The last thing we had here was the now two Asauris that were talking. But I don't remember if there was... Anything else... Anywhere well, else. Be safe. Because there was some things over here. There was people talking somewhere. Here, maybe? No. Was it here? No. And then these ones was support. Is Thane still here? Thane's gone, friends. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we did a main mission where somebody didn't die. That's something. The hospital is good. There is no more dialogue on the hospital. We'll head over to the docks. Tactus, Kelly Chambers, and James. So this Tactus is for Dr. Chakwas. Whoa, that table was just in the way. Oh, Conrad Burner's not here. I would love to just sit there and talk to him if we could. Oh, there's dialogue here between these two. Hey. Oh, hey, it's you. Still waiting, I see. Any news? No, but they promised, right? They'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in on you, if that's okay. Okay. Thanks for looking out after her, sir. That is really awesome that you're taking the time to look out for her. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Kestrel helmet, ammo capacity. Look at this freaking uh bug. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Harpoon gun? Is that a big sniper? Thank you for your patronage. I guess. James? What are you doing here with no shirt on? <laughs> James? I thought you would be playing car James? <laughs> James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat. Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. 
And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? Right? Earn, earn it. Welcome to the program. Your trainer. I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. So James is getting an N7 tattoo. And it's interesting because that this is coming up because being in the military personally, I have seen soldiers before we even went to basic training, there was soldiers that would get combat infantryman's badge, and you have to earn that. The combat inf infantryman's badge in the army was a badge that you would get only if you were in combat, and you had to take enemy fire and fire back and stuff. That's the only way you can get that type of badge. But I've seen it before. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But this, James getting the N7 tattoo, he fully deserved it. And if we're going to be his teacher, I see no problems with that whatsoever. Not, it, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no program right now anyway. There fucking literally isn't. The Reapers have destroyed everything. You think James is going to take the time to go off and do N7 program? And maybe after the war, yeah, but James, you've done earned N7 all day, every day of the week. So, yeah, welcome to the program. Well... They wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Prove it and don't let yourself down? I don't think he really needs to prove anything at this point. You really don't. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! <laughs> Enjoy the tat, James. I wanna see it, though. Let me see it. What is he getting? You can't really see it, is it? Well... Enjoy the tattoo, James. You deserved it, my friend. Preacher was good. We're looking for a tactus now. We can always check on Kelly. See if she has anything new. Excuse me, sirs. Ma'ams. Oh, there's tactus right there. Hold on. Let me talk to Kelly. Thanks for checking in on me. It's nice to see you. Always. Thanks for checking in on me. It's nice to see you. Sure you don't want to come back to the Normandy now? We can find some kind of job for you. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Don't be a fool, do the right thing. Honestly, this guy seems like a really good person, and he's doing what he can. I don't want to tell him don't be a fool. I just want to tell him do the right thing. Because it's for the bigger picture, sir. It really is. Your people need our supplies. And my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Good on you, Tactus. I appreciate that. Keep fighting the good fight. He does seem like a good guy. I didn't want to tell him to be a fool. I'm not going to assault the guy right here. Insult him. Oh, what the hell are you doing up there? He seems to be doing the uh, 
the right thing for the most part. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward. James is done. Did he whoop your guys' asses? He'll probably be back over there in no time. All right, well, let's head on over to the embassies now. I can't wait to see what Javik might have here. Javik is in four. There you are, Javik! <laughs> it's chilling. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It's only a start, it's a victory. It fucking is a victory for you, Javik. The only living Prothean alive on the citadel of all places. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> but you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive. And we will fight back! Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's kinda scary. <laughs> He's kinda scary. He'll throw your ass right out the fucking airlock if you look at him funny. He is a good guy. I like Javik. That was really inspiring, Javik. I loved it. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. That was so cool. <laughs> Javik, come to the Citadel more often. It was cool that he was here, and he gave the people a hope. The last Prothean, still fighting. And pushing the people to keep fighting. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Yeah, you should. But for what for, what for what we've read in one Thesia, it doesn't sound too good there. But hopefully, you and your daughter make it through the war. We got Miranda in a Spectre office. I don't think Bailey would have anything, but we could still check in with Bailey to see what the hell's going on. 
What's up, Bailey? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Take it easy, Bailey. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Let's go and check on Miranda. Oh, I'm pretty excited to talk to Miranda. Because we're gonna see what the hell's going on with her sister, for one. Maybe get some resolution for... Her. Was this something? This guy was something. He gave us a quest. Maybe get some kind of resolution on what... Uh, what happened with... What branches her and her sister from the second game. Because last time we uh, dealt with her sister, we saved her. Pretty much. Or we kind of saved her. Spectre requisitions! Look, we can finally get stuff. We can get the Black Widow now. And the Typhoon. We're going to try the Black Widow and we're going to try the Typhoon. And the Piranha. And that will probably be it on Spectre weapons. The N77 Paladin. Oh, that sounds so badass. Spectre Terminal. Location of Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was in Office Suite near the Human Embassy? Okay. Message Terminal. This is new. Good to see you're alright, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet. But my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. He probably is working with the elusive man. It only makes sense. And he's probably got your sister. But honestly, Miranda, you should come to the Normandy. You'd be more safe there. Just come from the Normandy and work from the Normandy. If you can. That would be great. Because I'm actually quite worried about Miranda at this point. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I can't get distracted. He has to be stopped. Well, we can get distracted. For sure, and help Miranda. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Take it easy, Miranda. Man, I'm kind of worried for Miranda, friends. I really, truly am. She's got all types of assassins going out there. You imagine that Kai Lang's probably going out there, too. The elusive man wants to kill her so bad. Fucking hell, man. Let's make a save. Look, we still got our first save. <laughs> we still got our first one. Let's make a save. And then buy some of this stuff. What are we going to try first? Let's try the Black Widow. The Alliance wanted to reduce the reload time of the original Widow rifle without sacrificing the stopping power. I was trying to hear that. There was times where the Spectre office says something, but it's so hard to hear anything in here. It truly is, because it's so low. The solution was to increase the number of shots the gun could fire before it needed a fresh thermal clip. 
heavy for a sniper rifle, the Black Widow's firepower more than compensates for its encumbrance. Let's get it. Can't buy anything else. Well, to be honest, we'll just buy the Paladin as well. Why not? The Black Widow and... Oh, we didn't read the Paladin. We'll read it when we reload. To be fair, we can read it in here. The M77 Paladin. Let's do... Wait, what's here? The Geth Pulse Rifle. Geth Pulse Rifle is comparable to a standard stock assault rifle, but finely balanced with low recoil and incredibly high accuracy. The Pulse Rifle fires a rapid stream of lightweight slugs, which are wrapped in a phasic envelope to increase their damage. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try this out here. Instead of taking it on a mission, we can just try it out here. Okay, and then we'll do the Black Widow. We'll modify it with... Armor piercing? And damage. Wait, there's another one. This one. This one does damage. Speed perception by 27%. Not sure what that is. I want to check it out. And then... The Paladin. The Paladin is a reliable, durable weapon developed by law enforcement looking for a high-powered but easily concealed sidearm for undercover agents. Surprisingly small for its hitting power. The Paladin is a variant on the Carnifex pistol. Oh, it's an upgraded version of the Carnifex. I thought it looked like it. While it has a smaller clip than a Carnifex, its shots are unquestionably more powerful. Let's do that one. Wait. I want to up... Well, that's fine, sure, because that's what we would use anyway. Let's see what this is about. Don't do... Well, don't do shit to armor, really. What, the shields? Watch the shield. See ya. To be fair... I feel like other stuff takes care of the shields a bit better. Because this seems like a build-up. Because it's got 80 rounds. It seems like it really needs to get going. See, when you fire it for a little while, it just really hits hard. Yeah. So cool, though. You hear this sucker? Sniper! Let's make it farther away. Oh, that's not far. The farthest we can go. Well, we'll go up a little bit. Hey, you mother effer. We'll go right here. At least to where we can see the target. Get this. Woo! This thing is so fucking badass. It's got three rounds in it, friends. Did it even take its shields off? It must be. It's just coming back immediately. Yeah. It's just taking it off completely. Look, that was... Hip fire. <laughs> hip fire again. This thing is fucking badass. It's everything I wanted in a sniper. It has that stopping power, but not only that, it has three rounds. Three rounds! It's just like the Widow. Literally, it's an upgraded version of the Widow. Oh, this is tough, man. Very fucking tough. Just listen. If we weren't an adept, I would probably get it. I want it. But I think... The reason why I wouldn't get it is because the scope makes it hard for me to throw down biotics at the same time. Because let's be honest, we just spam and spam and spam and spam. What an awesome weapon. The best sniper in the game that we played so far. Hell, it might even be the best sniper in the game, period. It's 
is full force. The sniper that I would buy immediately if I was playing either a soldier or an infiltrator. This thing. You still. You hear this thing? I only got four shots. They can count though. Nearly takes all the armor off with one shot. Fucking hell, this thing is as powerful as a, a freaking shotgun. Whoa! Fucking amazing. Let's try this piranha and then... We'll call it there. Man, that was an awesome weapon. So far, that was probably one of the best weapons that we tried. The Widow. The Black Widow. The only one we can't try is... Oh, we gotta try the Typhoon. We can't try the Piranha right now. Let's try the Typhoon. Whoa! What the fuck? What in the actual fuck just happened, Shepard? <laughs> Alright, let's try this. I'm pretty sure we already read this, but just in case... Let's read it again. The Typhoon is a distinctive light machine gun featuring a face shield to protect the shooter from headshots. Its power and recoil are so notorious that it includes a high-tech kinetic reducer to fight muzzle climb. Since the reducer tries to limit all motion by the weapon, marksmen do not engage it while marksmen do not engage it while moving and instead reduce the recoil only while they are in cover. So you can't be moving and shooting at the same time, basically. Let's modify this sucker. Look at the weight on this damage. We gotta do recoil dampener. I don't even think we have one. Yeah, we got one right here. Let's try it. Are you ready for this? Woo! Look how cool this thing is. It's got a hundred rounds. <laughs> this thing... This thing takes care of shields better than the Geth plasma rifle does. It takes a minute to, to warm up, but when it does... <laughs> oh my god, I want it so bad! I want all these fucking guns! Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we trying these guns? Because now I just want them all! <laughs> That's so fucking cool! Well, there's the best assault rifle that I've tried. I think I like... I like that one the best, even over the Cerberus Harrier and the Matic and stuff. The Cerberus Harrier was so badass, though. It was so badass. Cerberus Harrier is probably better. But the Typhoon was absolutely fucking awesome. Let's try the Piranha. It's the last one. We can't try the N7 Valiant. We're not going to have enough. I'll try that another playthrough. Let's try this Piranha. Whoa, did you see that weapon? Hell, I still think 100% my favorite weapon in the game is the Crusader. The shotgun that we have, that has been my favorite weapon in the whole game so far. Okay, we got a... Piranha. Got good damage. The N7 Piranha is an assault shotgun designed for the Reaper War. When the N7 program began training alien resistance forces... The lighter-bodied species wanted a lower recoil weapon with a wide pellet spread for dealing with hordes of husks. The result was a piranha, which hit a sweet spot in close-range firepower. Its rapid-fire capability tears apart not only husks, but most opponents unlucky enough to be in the way. Hell. Let's do damage. No, that's... We'll just do two damage. Fucking who cares about the weight right now? Without even upgrading this thing. Look. We have three weapons on right now. And we're at 124. This thing's kind of... Well, it's kind of light. Whoa. 
Ooh, that recoiled out. It's pretty fucking badass. So about two shots gets rid of the barrier, or two shots gets rid of armor. This would be great on a Vanguard. You charge in because the range probably isn't there. No, the range is pretty bad. Yeah. It's not worth even using unless you're up close and personal. You'd have to literally charge in and just lay waste. I just think uh, it's pretty freaking awesome looking. Just look at it. Check out the big ass ammo chamber there. Oh man, it's so cool looking. And it sounds cool and it just... Just laying waste. But a Vanguard for sure would do wonders with that weapon. It would make it dance, as Garrus would say. All right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save here. And when we get back, I'm gonna check out more on the Citadel. I'm gonna get some more conversations, Embassy Guard. We have this Den Korlak quest now. And we are gonna go around and we are going to buy more weapons. We're gonna buy all the rest of the weapons in the shops. Because at this point, I don't think it's no point in buying anything else. Anything else here, at least. I don't want any more of these weapons. I would love, out of all these weapons here, the Black Widow was probably the best. Out of all the weapons that we can buy in here that I've seen, the best one is the Crusader, then the Black Widow. It just, when I'm saying this, it doesn't mean it's the most powerful. It's just what I perceive as the best for me, what I would want. Because the Cerberus Harrier is probably the most powerful weapon in the game. When we use this, it just shredded everything out there. And this Typhoon on Garrus, with his assault rifle upgrade, would just be ungodly overpowered. But, as in how they look, how they sound, how just they are, the stats of them, I think my favorite was the Crusader, then the Black Widow, then the Eagle Pistol, then the Wraith, then Typhoon. See, I like the Cerberus Harrier. And if I was in the second game, I would be on board with it. But I don't really want to use a Cerberus weapon. Unless we have to. Contrary to what we're using now, we are using a Cerberus weapon. But we're just trying that... What was it? We're just trying that out. Hold on here. We have one more to try. No, because I'm going to bring it on a mission. The pistol, the end set, or the Cerberus pistol that we got, I want to bring that one on a, on a mission next. I want to check it out. It's like a shotgun pistol. But yeah, there's just so many good ones. This hurricane was pretty badass too. I would love to have gotten the hurricane and made this submachine gun for all of our companions, but that's fine. It's okay. I don't think it's... I don't think we're going to do it. I think I'm going to put all my companions probably on that blood pack one because that one just sounded way fucking badass. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.